All right, let's go over your describing the distribution with your socks. Um, in particular, I want to make sure that you are doing the, um, the writing of the describing your distribution to the correct quality and not just skimping on that. All right, so here with this number one, this was uh, the shape is that first thing. You have got to look at that shape first. So I know that this is skewed left um, because that is going to play into a lot of my choices that I use, uh, that I answer in these questions here. All right, first of all, um, I can see from the labels here that this is about the California Achievement Test and the test scores of the California high schools in 1999. Okay, so the context is that first thing that's very important. Um, because of the skew, if you have skew, then you must choose to use median and IQR. So the measure of center being the median. The measure of spread you're going to choose to use is the IQR. Now, uh, because you use the median and IQR, and then that also dictates the fences that you will choose to compute. So the median and IQR uh, means that I will use that Q1 minus one and a half IQRs and Q3 plus one and a half IQRs. So basically the box plot rule fences. So here I did that, the lower fence, Q1, minus one and a half times the IQR, which, um, so the IQR, okay, so don't forget that that IQR that I get is um, based on that Q, um, the IQR is that Q3 minus Q1, and so in this case, that was that 97 minus the 86, so that's how I had come up with that um, 11. Okay, and so then this, of course, was your uh, Q1, Q1 minus that one and a half times the IQR. Okay, so that was our lower fence. So then see here, look, I put that on this distribution. So I can see I have several lower outliers below that 69.5. Okay. Uh, also then the upper fence. Okay. Of course that upper fence was that Q3 plus one and a half I times the IQR. And so then that's why I have got that um, 113. So when I put that on our distribution, I can see there are no upper outliers. All right. So let's do the describe the distribution with your socks. Be specific and include context. So here's what that looked like. The shape of the California test scores is skewed left and unimodal. It has one peak, one mode. Okay, um, there are for the outliers. So write this word shape and then write a sentence. Write this word outlier and then say there are no upper outliers, but there are several lower outliers. Um, I forgot that word lower in here. So there are several lower outliers. Uh, test scores below 69.5. Center. The center that I should choose to use is the median test score of 94. The spread that is I choose to use is the IQR. So the middle 50% of the California schools score between 86 and 97, which is an IQR of 11 points. All right, next. Now, the thing you need to know is that, I mean, real data isn't perfect. This is somewhat symmetric. Um, in fact, I wanted to compare, yeah, look at this median. The median, you know, so the median was 62, okay? And the mean was 62.3. So that is, somewhat symmetric. I mean, those are fairly close. And so that's an indicator to us that um, some it's somewhat symmetric, okay? Had this mean been quite a bit greater, you know, maybe 65 or higher, then I could say it's somewhat, uh, you know, then it might be a little skewed to the right. 
but we really should go with somewhat symmetric on this. Now, the context of this is the faculty salaries, in particular the professor's salaries, in one thousands of dollars, okay? Context, context. So, because I have symmetry, you standard deviation and mean, so the measure of center I'm going to use is mean. The measure of spread I'm going to use is standard deviation. So based on using the mean and standard deviation, I'm going to use the fences that are the mean plus two standard deviations and the mean minus two standard deviations. So this lower fence is the mean minus two standard, two standard deviations. And that is how I get that negative 8.9. So see, look here, when I write this on this distribution, there were no faculty salaries, of course, that are in the negatives, okay? We're not going to have the professors paying the school to work there, all right? And then um, the upper fence, of course, is going to be our mean plus two standard deviations. And so that's a salary of 133 and a half. So there were no upper outlier salaries either. All right. Uh, yeah, the maximum is below that. Okay, so here comes the describe our distribution with our socks. Be specific and use context. Write sentences and then, you know, say what socks is. Do not just write S-O-C-S. -S. So the shape the faculty salaries are somewhat symmetric and unimodal, one mode. Outlier, there are no upper or lower outlier salaries. The center, the average faculty salary is 62300 and the spread of the salaries is a standard deviation of not 35.6, it is 35,600. Context, context, context not just 62.3, but 62,300 for those salaries. All right, this next one is about country's unemployment rate and that percent of female unemployment in those countries. Okay, female unemployment rate in those countries. So I can clearly see this is quite skewed to the right. You know, and that's further um, demonstrated because see, look here, I see that the mean the mean um, is 11.7 and the median is 8.25. So that's yet another indicator that the mean is greater than um, the median. So then that's why another reason why I know that it is skewed right, okay? Um, so I know then that the measure of center I'm going to use. So if you have skew, then you must choose to use median and IQR. So the measure of center I'm going to use is median. The measure of spread I'm going to use is IQR. Now you know that that IQR is that Q3 minus that Q1. And that in this case was um, the Q3 of 18.4 minus that Q1 of 6.3, and so that must have been 12.1. All right, so here we go with, so therefore the outlier rule I'm going to use because I'm using median and IQR is that box plot, the box plot outlier rules, okay? So therefore, um, um, let's see. I guess I didn't even go through the effort of computing the lower fence because I can tell it's going to be negative. You can't have negative unemployment rates, okay? Now, here I did the upper fence, which of course came from my Q3 plus one and a half times that IQR. And so that was uh, indeed a value of 36.55. So that, of course, see, I put that in here. So I can see there were two upper outliers, okay? All right, yep, two outliers. Now, describe the distribution. Be specific and use context. Write out sentences and write out the words. Do not just put S-O-C-S. -S. So, the shape. The female unemployment percentages are unimodal and skewed to the right. The outliers. There are no lower outliers, but there are about two countries 
with upper outlier percentages above 36.55%. The center of the female unemployment rate is best represented by the median of 8.25%, and the spread is an IQR, so that middle 50% of countries have an IQR between 6.3 and 18.4, so that's an IQR of 12.1%. All right, and our last one is also somewhat symmetric. Of course, see, look here, somewhat symmetric. Yeah, look at here. The mean of 31.6 is somewhat equal to, you know, so it's about the same as the median, which is 31, okay? So that is another indicator that it is somewhat symmetric. So if it's somewhat symmetric, if you have a symmetry, then you can use standard deviation for the spread and mean for the center. So I'm going to be using that outlier fence rule of the mean plus and minus two standard deviations. Now, um, this was kind of, uh, this was hard. It wasn't very clear on the context, but this was about the number of words per Bible verse in the book Isaiah. Okay, so, you know, I don't know. That was hard for you to kind of distinguish here. It's about the number of words, the frequency of those words. Okay. All right. So that lower fence was negative. So there wasn't negative words per verse. No lower outliers, but this um, upper fence was the uh, mean plus two standard deviations. And so that's how we got 78.4. So there was no upper outliers either. Now, describe the distribution with your socks. Be specific. Use context. Write sentences. Write the words. Do not just put S-O-C-S. -S. So here we have that the shape, the words, um, I guess the words perverse in that book, Isaiah, is kind of hard for you to tell, are somewhat symmetric and unimodal. For the outliers, there are no upper or lower outlier word values. The center, the average number of words reported were 31.6 words per Bible verse. And the spread word count is best represented by the standard deviation of 23.4 words. All right. That is the end of your um, you're go going over this describing the distribution um, assignment. Just please make sure that you are thorough, that you know um, which measure of center and spread you should use and which outlier rule you should use. And of course, those come from that um, shape, which is what you identify first. And then when you describe your distribution, you use context, you are specific, you use sentences, and you write the words out, shape, outlier, center, and spread. All right. Hope that you did well on that.